What's going on, everybody? Live Farmer 73 here, and I'm feeling kind of right. How we doing? <laughs> How we doing? I know, I know, I know. Y'all probably like, lit again? Yeah. Because cause I feel like a million bucks. Listen. Uh, what's going on? Welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge. I call this the 30-minute cook because I'm not going to sit here and do a whole bunch of talking. I just wanted to show you this ain't a gimmick. This ain't a, uh, a sales pitch. None of that. I'm blown away. Okay, first off, look, matter of fact, let me get my neck. Let me, let me get something straight. Uh, yo. Oh, uh, you said it, it, uh, no time setting it up. Let me tell you what I did. I wish I could go outside and show you. I took the whole thing down. I took the whole thing down and shifted it. So now the, the middle door faces out to the lake and it's the long way heading towards my house. I shifted it. Because when I, I'm, I'm having a gathering tomorrow and I wanted to have more room outside because I'm going to have a fire pit going outside. I'm going to have the stove going on inside. And, you know, I just wanted to, I wanted to flow. So I don't want nobody stumbling over all the ropes and everything. Uh, you have a sink in a tent. I'm about to break your back in a second. Now, this is something that I had since. I want to say June and I never showed it because it was supposed to be for something completely different. I was going to bring it to survival camp, but I was like, eh. my water got cut off. This was in my room because me and my wife was either using this in the middle of the night or the buckets at during the day at downstairs. So. I'm about to, uh, look, this is a combo set. I'm glad you said something. This is a combo set. Here's here's the commode, the porta potty, but the it uses the same water. It's a tank of water under here, and it's a tank of water on the sink. And as you step on that black bulb and pump the water. The water comes out of the faucet, just like a normal faucet. You can wash your hands, clean yourself up, and it all goes down into this. It goes down the drain, which is this white tube that goes down into the dirty water on the toilet. So you don't ever have any dirty water collecting in the sink. You don't got to pour nothing out. It all goes into the dirty water on the pot. I've had it since June, and I haven't had any real reason to bring it out. Because I brought it out because I'm going to be here. After this whole thing, after the, the family gathering, I'm going to be here for about three days. So I said, I'm going to make this off the chain. So number one, I wanted to show y'all it re it's really working. Uh, I'm going to show y'all this. I, everything, I'm bringing stuff out little by little. Got my generators, got my buddy heaters. I don't even need my buddy heaters. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why in a second. I, I, got, I brought a, uh, my cot out of my RV. Two folding tables I got. And I just do that just to take, so it don't take up no space. So when I'm ready to lay down, I just move the table out the way. And I can lay down on the cot. I got all my sleeping bags, got all my gear. You see, I got my gear. And I even brought my gas generator this time. I got uh, the all, not, um, not the all pause, what is it? The Van Powers generator. I got my, uh, I got my set power refrigerator freezer. People think that's a cooler. That's plugged into that. And this side is all frozen food. And over here is all refrigerated. So I am literally... About to, about to knock your head off. Now look at this. This is what I was telling somebody about yesterday. 
And right now, hold on, I'm going to take this off the tripod so you can see. It's at 200 degrees, just sitting on top of this. And I got, you see I got that pinched down to the low. I'm burning it low and slow. I'm, I don't got no rage and fire. But earlier, I got this up to 300 degrees in this oven. Now, that's for baking some biscuits or something. And all you got to do is just set it on top of this stove. And it'll heat up. So I'm just like, man, I'm in paradise. I brought, got my wood chopped up. I got me a tray of wood over here. Got my tools, some uh, starter fuel over there, like just some, some weeds. And okay, so what I'm going to do real quick, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and I said 30 minutes. I done been talking for about 20 of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just let y'all see what it do. So I kid you not. I'm just going to get down with the get down. Hold on, I'm going to come back. And then uh, I'm just going to show y'all straight up. Let me put my gloves on. What do I do with my gloves? Because I got to take that off. I'm going to take the oven off. Because I'm about to cook, cook. So, oh, before I get started what kind uh what kind of tin is this everything is in the description box below okay this is a vivor vivor 19 by 13 by 10 foot tall canvas 100 percent cotton canvas tin let me show you something uh where'd it go oh it's 48 degrees outside can y'all see that? It's 48 degrees outside and it's 61 degrees all the way over there. The, the stove is over here. This is over there behind me by the, by the commode. It's 61 degrees in this tent. Down here, it's warmer higher up. That's how much this stove is warming up this whole tent. It's 48 outside. And it's 61 degrees in here. And I know why it's 61 degrees. It was warmer than this. But I went outside a minute ago to put my, my foldable wagon back outside. So let's get this going. I'm going to answer some questions in a second. So I had to take my coat off, family. I had to take my coat off because I'm, it got so warm. Oh, oh, oh. Let me show you something. Down there. Is a silicone mat, silicone heat mat. You see, I set my stove up on those two cinder blocks, and I got a silicone heat mat up to a thousand degrees, and I got a cookie sheet pan under there just in case, just in case ambers come out. They won't penetrate that black mat, but I don't want them on there at all. So, just to show y'all, I leave a link to that too. Nope, I'm taking you with me 100% of the way. Take you with me. I know this is crazy, as usual, but I want you to see how this really goes. Oh, wait. Let me take this down. Let me take this off first. That was what I was supposed to do. Take this oven off. Set that over here on that cardboard. I should have been letting that get hot a long time ago. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, I'm going to let my pan get hot. Let me let my pan get hot. Hold on. And then I'm going to answer some questions. Now, remember, everything on this side, I got my wall. This is my little kitchen area. Everything on this side is frozen. Frozen chicken. She was cold as ice long ago. Baby, baby. Everything over there is frozen. And I got everything over here just being refrigerated. So, I don't need these no more. Hold on. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Hold on, family. Working in my new my newfound kitchen, so this is all new to me too. Let me see if y'all can see that. Yeah, yeah. Then I just your lips in you. Oh, I was ready. I was already ready. I was already ready. Put that on there. It ain't my pan ain't hot enough, so that's all right. We'll let it ride. We'll let it ride. So you're going to start seeing that sizzle up and get, get gravy. So there we go. I'm going to actually talk to y'all from this direction so you can get a little see looky see what I got here there we go because I want I want you to see how real this is I that the only reason I'm doing this because I'm like yo it's really real right really real do I have let me scoot up on y'all do I have any questions? <laughs> so, it's 61 degrees over here. I'm about to get that steak popping off. That, that's a, a ribeye, I believe it is. Ribeye or a New York strip. Uh, that sinks and pooper is sweet. What are they? It's in the description box below. I went on here and put it in the description box below because I was like, you know what? People going to ask me about this sink. I have forgot about it till somebody said, is that a sink behind you? Yep. This ain't camping. This is glamping. So, and I got my window open right here facing out towards Washio Kushi Creek. Uh, wow. Is that a, is that sink working out? I've been wanting one to get one. You want to, do you want to see the sink work? I ain't going to show you how the toilet work, but do you want to see the sink work? Are there any ratings like sleeping bag for cold temperatures? What do you mean? Are there any ratings? Ratings? I don't I don't know what that means. When you sleep in a tent, if that's what you're talking about, how you keep warm is up to you. Either you got a wood burning stove, you got a buddy heater, you got some kind of way to keep warm. It ain't about the thickness of your. OK, show us the sink. OK. Let me put another piece of wood in the stove real quick, all right? Y'all see that okay? I'm going to put another piece of wood in there. Okay. Now, everybody want to see this sink work. It's crazy. It's crazy how it works. It's so simple that it's, it's really ridiculous. You know, the, the, the pooper got a flusher. I, I know y'all know about that already. Okay. So, it's some water. It's some water already inside there, right? This... This is just a rag I was wiping off the stove with. That ain't wiping my rump or nothing. So everybody like, yuck. All you do is pump this. Let me get my soap. Pump this. You can turn this on. I'm glad I didn't do that. As you, can y'all see that? 
as I step on that, hold on, okay, as I step on that, water comes out. You can step on as slow as you want to. You, it ain't like you got a ton of water. You got to, this holds about three gallons, three or four gallons. Now watch. Now this water is going out this sink, down this hole, down into the tube, down into the, the dirty water on the toilet. It also has a soap dispenser that I have never used. I'm not using that. That's that's kind of overkill for me. Turn your knob off. So you don't accidentally step on that and, and hit it or nothing like that. So. Your tissue paper is supposed to sit here so you can reach over, grab your paper, but I don't use that either. All right. I said 30 minutes what we've been on here. 16, okay. Still got time to show you the cooking going on. We're going to go over here. And I can answer some questions while I watch my food. Any questions? You see the stove jack is working great. Any questions? That sink and that toilet is, comes in a combination. Did I purchase the tin online? It's, it's in the description box below. The sink and the toilet is a combination. They come together. And that's in the description box below. And no, I'm not affiliated at all. Uh, Nice things for camping, but wilderness living will not be like this at all. I didn't say nothing about being in the wilderness for this. <laughs> I just said glamping. I literally used the word glamping. Is the tent waterproof or did you spray it? It is waterproof and I didn't spray it. I'm just testing it out. I haven't done I don't even have tarps under it. I ain't going to lie to you. I was so excited. At first, I was bummed out. But then I got so excited, the more I opened it up, I didn't put nothing, no tarps under it, nothing. Hey, Kimberly Atkins, what's going on, young lady? Uh, what's up? So has the February date been set? Yes, it's on the website at easilygrowngarden.com slash products. Yes, it is. It's been set. I just haven't announced it yet. I'm waiting on her. She's been so busy, and I wanted to make sure everybody got the proper information to me just spewing it out and then I go on one of my rants, you know. Is the stove the only thing keeping you warm? I Yes, I don't have anything else going. I don't have nobody heaters, nothing. Only thing got this whole giant tent warm is literally, I think, 11 or 12 degrees warmer in here than out there. The only thing got it going is this doggone little uh wood stove hey homestead in the hood how you doing tonight what we cooking it's cooking a piece of steak just to just to do it just to try it does the wood stove put out enough heat or tent oh y'all i just explained that yes what's going on crafty mom let me see let me see i, I hear something I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that heat pump up a little higher. Get that heat up a little higher than that. I want to hear that fizzle, fizzle. Okay. But so far, I'm cooking. I could actually put my kettle on there too and get me some tea going. And I'm not even going to be out here all night. I'm just out here fumbling around. I should have been in the house. But I need to get this set up for, t for tomorrow. What's up, David Corey? Good to see you, man. Let me get my, get my little cup. Uh, 
look, temperature is dropping outside. Temperature is still dropping. It's at 48 and it's 61 in here. Temperature outside dropping, but not in here. Let me see. Say cast iron cooking is the best. Yes, it is. You can even get a fan for the stove. It it should be here. It's probably out on my front porch right now. It should be here today. And I don't need I haven't even checked. I got a fan for the stove so it can blow that heat across this room, even though it's doing great with no, no air being blown. Let me see. What's up, Dave Busby? Say, I bought that stove a while ago, and I've been waiting to see you working it. That's cool. Look here. This a bad, bad boy. I don't do this often, cause I be standing by my, I be standing by my word when I do something. I mean it. Um, I'ma say this for real. Uh. He brought me through and asked me this the other day. What would I prefer, this or a rocket stove, the rocket stove that I was using before? Can you see the stove, please? One second. This all day, hands down, the other rocket stove can't hold a candle to this. Can't hold a candle to it. Let me, it was something else up there. Hold on. I ordered the wood stove. Do you have a link for the fan? Um, I'll make sure I, I, I put the link for the fan right after this. But here's the stove, and it's cooking my it's cooking my dinner as we speak. You can see that if you can see that. I just got to stop stop disturbing it let that heat up i had to open my vent so my my heat can get hotter all right i hope you saw that okay but it's down there doing the doggone thing and again okay we've been on 23 minutes i'm not even kidding i said 30 minute cooking time i'm gonna stay out here i'm gonna cook i'm gonna eat I'm going to sit here and giggle like a little schoolgirl, and then I'm a, I am might head in. Are you going to use the heat-powered fan? Heat power. Yes, yes. When, when it comes, I already got it on order. Should have been here today. Uh, let me see. I've been elbow deep in my home to-do list. I'm late to the chat. That's okay. Uh, okay, let me keep on going. Where's the seasoning? It's already seasoned. I don't even need... I When I put my meat in the freezer, when I before I store my meat or my steaks, I season it and then I'll freeze it. I don't... Because when I pull it out, when I thaw it out, I want it to be ready. I don't want to be sitting there doing this stuff. I, I want it ready. I know exactly how I want it to taste. I do the same thing all the time. I get it going. So I pull it out. It's ready to go. I let it naturally thaw out. It's ready to go. Yeah, uh, EMJ. I'm marinating some of me. <laughs> um... Let me see. Hey, Miss, uh, I can't pronounce your name. It's the awesome camping gear. Love camping. Thank you for that. Thank you. How do you make the stove last many hours without the fire going out while sleeping? Yeah, you don't. Um, you got to stay on top of that. The bigger your stove, the less you have to get up and throw another shrimp on the barbie. The bigger your stove, 
the the less times you have to get up and make sure your wood is going in there that's number one number two it depends on what kind of wood you're burning if you're burning just junk wood like sticks and and shrubs out in your yard that stuff burn like this if you're using something like hickory and oak it gives off the same intense heat but it burns so much slower so when you that's why hickory and uh hickory and oak cost so much when you when you buy any foot like, like your fireplace it costs a fortune deborah davis how you doing deborah davis say hey live from my love to set up i got my first battery a solar panel uh a dr prepper battery with the little paint on it um I need to get a stove but couldn't make up my mind. That's okay. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. No rush. No rush. Uh, Dave Busby said, exactly. I'm a barbecue guy. So you already, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. That hickory and that oak, that stuff burns hot, but it burns slow. So if you want to spend the money to do that, usually if you out camping or hunting, you're going to try to get any kind of wood you got around your area. So the bigger your heater is, the bigger your stove is, um, the less you got to put wood in it. But that's something you can't get around. That's, that's reality right there. You got to keep that fire fed because if your fire go out, uh, you're screwed. I mean it. But now you're going to spend the rest of your night when you should be sleeping, getting some rest to do whatever you're doing in the morning. Now you're going to spend the rest of your night trying to get your fire back going, not just going, but get it hot. Hey, Element of Grace. I said, Grace set up that stove reminds me of Girl in the Woods channel. Okay, all right. Uh, let me see. The girl in the woods. Is that that naked one? Because I don't, I don't want to discuss her. I'm thinking about Is that that naked chick? Girl in the woods. Girl in the woods. I know that name. Is that that naked chick and all her thumbnails is her naked, buck naked in water or something or sitting on her balcony and you can, is that the one? What about electric heaters? What about them, Annie? I don't have anything else right now going, nothing. The only thing, I don't even have my electric blankets out here right now. No, from alone, the couples. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But y'all know what I'm talking about though, right? If you look up my name, if you go on YouTube and punch in my name, you know, all other preppers and gardeners are going to pop up. And that chick always pops up. And she bug naked, young little girl in the middle of the woods or the wilderness, whatever. And she do that for clicks because she just. I've been on the channel and you will see it and be like, she ain't even doing nothing. It's, it's insane. So I'll be like, man, nah, I don't want to talk about her. Like, people will do, listen, people will do anything, anything for views. You will show your naked body and then you think you're going to be okay in the middle of the woods. Like some freak ain't going to end up. Think about it. Everybody ain't sane. Look at the world right now. I'm not going to get in no rant. But look at the world right now. Man, everybody ain't okay. Everybody is not all right. And if you keep on, um, if you keep on basically tempting fate, you going to keep tempting fate like that, fate going to come a knocking. I just, nah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's like all these all these people flashing their money around, you know, on the video. But then we'll see on TMZ they got shot up. Every time I see that, I be like, that took longer than I thought it would. I I really 
it ain't like I'm saying it like I don't have remorse. I do. But, but, I be like, well, you lasted longer than the last guy that was making the money phone. You lasted longer than him. But what you thought was about to happen if three dudes with the money phones uh, got chopped up? What do you think? What do you think is happening? So, anyway. If you keep tempting fate, you got to remember, everybody, everybody ain't living like you. Keep on tempting fate. Say, if I could justify it, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. <laughs> Listen. The only reason, look, I camp all the time. I literally do this all the time. When I was doing most of my gardening videos, this is what I do behind the scenes. And I was like, nobody want to see this. I'm on the lake, so my geese is clowning. That means they see something. Something is out here, around here. Oh, it's been 30 minutes, y'all. TLC in the garden in here. Is something out there? Yeah. The geese start acting up when they see something. They ain't worried about me. They're, uh, it's probably, they either see a raccoon or a, a coyote or a fox or something out there. Get some of this hard wood on. Get some hard wood on. There we go. Open that up all the way. They're loud because they are literally right there. I live on the lake and they are in the water right in front of me. They are uh, Canadian geese. Yes, they are. So this is it, you guys. I just I just wanted to come out and show y'all real quick how it's popping off. I wanted y'all, I really wanted you to see the stove. And it is actually in the tent, full operation. The stove jack is working great. It's silicone fit perfect everything is working great look and look what i got lighting lighting up the whole scene uh, one old it had broke on me uh, about six months ago but i keep it for that and old old shop light Any wildlife? No. No. Can you put that in a tiny house? Yes, you can. Now, I'm going to say this. When you say, is there any wildlife concerns? If you're not, the reason I keep showing this is it's not, it's not military. But yes, it's a big canvas tent. When we start talking about animals, and attacking people and stuff like that. This is why I, I've been doing this. Because I'm trying to show people if you out here. If you have to be out here. Or you out camping. These are things you might want to think about. People say, I don't like firearms. They harm people. So do bears. You can't get rid of all the bears, can you? You can't get rid of all the bears. So when you go out in the wilderness. Or you go out in the woods camping or whatever you need to protect yourself the bear the bear got protection you got protection you know even the plant field thank you for that trina's journey said thanks for sharing your patience and knowledge and teaching us to be prepared He's like thank you so much sister thank you for that uh what all are you using for heat in there it looks warm just this stove just this little wood burning camp stove here's my wood behind me i'm just using this and let's let's check our temperature where did it go okay 
Let's check our temp. It dropped one degree, 59 degrees, 59 in here, 48 outside. So, and I'm nice and cozy and toasty. And, I, and I'm sitting right here by the fire too. So this, this stove, this stove is heating me up even more because I'm sitting right by it. Dr. Simone, it's the truth. You know, you don't know, you don't, you won't be saying that if an intruder come in your house. A bear wanted to scratch on your tent. You're going to be thinking a whole different kind of way. People just have not. 59 is cold. I'm sitting by the stove. I'm not. I'm right over top of the stove. This is why I keep making these videos. Because if you do this yourself, you will understand. It's 59 degrees over here. It got to be about 70 degrees right here on this stove or better. I'm sitting right here. I don't feel no chill, no cold. None. I'm, I do this to show you how this stuff work. If you've never done this, if you've never done this before, you will think I'm crazy. 59 degrees. Remember, it's blocking all the wind. You can hear the wind chimes. Listen. You can hear wind chimes. The wind is blowing. And how often do you add wood? Whenever you need to add wood. Look. Wind is blowing good. I don't feel anything in here. All I feel is the heat. But this, I, I do these, these videos because I want you to try it. Because if you don't know how to do this in an emergency, you're going to be stuck. Meaning, you're going to have to de be dependent on somebody else. And when you have to depend on everybody else, they ain't always for the right thing. So a lot of people end up in them stadiums after a hurricane or a tornado or flood they end up in them stadiums and they get taken advantage of because they don't know nothing now with that being said everybody is ending up in those stadiums after a hurricane a natural disaster or something people are ending up in those stadiums more often now and people don't know what to do they don't know how to take care of themselves so they waiting on I ain't going to say the name of the people that runs that organization. You waiting on them to help you because you don't got a clue. But if we do this more often and practice this, if something happened, you, you, at least you have some kind of idea. Uh, you would have your jacket on so I know you're warm. You know me. I don't play with the cold. I'm from the north, but I don't play with the cold because, you know, that's a quick way to get sick. No, I'm fine. I'm out here. I'm good. I got on one shirt. I'm good out here. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you this, and then, then I'm going to let y'all go, because it's been over 30 minutes. We going on 40 minutes, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Now you can see my, my fire down there roaring. Hold on. My bad. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get that fire blazing so I can cook this meat. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
That mug is blazing. So the wood I'm using, some of it is oak. This is what I do. True story. Um, I go around and I pick up people have trees cut down. My neighbor, if you remember, I think that was last year, you saw me out front chopping wood manually. I have electric wood splitter, but... I get wood from all around and I bring it home. I chop it up. This wood, all this wood you always see me with is from somewhere else. I bring it home, chop it down, break it down, stack it up and I use it. I might need it in my house for emergency, but this is what I really use it for camping out in the yard, fire pit. Use you, you did. I, we ain't doing right. We ain't doing right. This is free free resources. Free energy resources. And tomorrow I'm gonna show you what I what I put on the on this pipe so it don't let um ambers fly out. Because ambers um what is what called chosen? In a real situation, you probably won't be cooking late at night. No, nope, this ain't a real situation. I'm just running tests. I'm just trying to see. This ain't got nothing to do with survival right now. Right now, I'm just out here putting this tent and this stove through the test. Both of them is brand new. Everybody saw me uh, purchase them and everything. They're brand spanking new. So, um, I'm just testing stuff out this ain't got nothing to do with survival right now not the kind of survival i normally talk about this got to do with you know if you get put out the house what you gonna do is the type of stove listed in the drop down yes it is rt yes it is have you tried the heat activated fans for stove yes i have one it's just it's on its way i ordered it it's probably here right now so I'm going to be out here for a few days, and when it comes, I'm going to test it out. I'm putting everything through the test so you don't have to. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, type of thermometer. I don't, Accurite. It's an Accurite. Get this. With the, um, I'm going to cook some biscuits in that oven. What kind of mat do you have underneath? I'm going to put that in the description box below because I can't remember the name of it. I ordered it about a week ago and I put, I'll find it and put it in the link below so you know exactly which one it is. Uh, how long did it take you to put up the tent? Today, it probably, I took it down and put it back up in less than an hour. I literally took it down, moved it, put it back up in less than an hour. The first time I did it by myself, mind you, the first time I did it and I didn't know what I was doing, it probably took me all of 45 minutes, if that. Uh, how many days have you lived out there? None. I went in the house after the live, uh, what was that, last night? Yeah. I remember when you went and picked up leaves from people's garden. I still do that. Uh, Dave Busby, I literally still do that. I got bags and bags and bags of people's leaves over there by my shed. We still do that. And then I grind them up and make soil out of it. Or I put it in my chicken coop. Ain't nothing stopped, man. Nothing changed. But this right here. It's so warm in here. Look at the wind blowing. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't really see that wind blowing. And I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing. This, this is camping. So anybody that's coming to the... Uh, the survival camp this February, you're going to see this in person. As a matter of fact, I will invite you in so you can literally touch it and feel it and see I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. This is 
this off the chain. Uh, would it, it would be nice to have one of those resources available in the inner city, a resource available. Oh, wood. Yeah, that's kind of hard to do. Yes, that is huge, uh, EMJ. How big is the tent? It's, it's basically 20 feet by 13. It's 20 feet long, 13 feet wide, and 10 feet tall. It's a house. It's a house. It really is a house. How do you like the sink in the back and what what is it? Oh, we already go back. Do me a favor. Just go back and rewind and check this video out again. I even washed my hands in the sink. And it's in the description box below. That toilet and the sink is a combination. I, go back in the video and listen to that again. Trust me. What's going on, Black Magic? Uh, Say, Brother Led, I'm attacked. I'm attacked by you walking around there with shoes on. I'm attacked. I don't understand what you mean. I'm attacked. Maybe it's a typo or something. Is your tent four season tent? Yes, it's 100% cotton canvas. Yes, it is. Uh, let me see. Subliminal frequency. Oh, wow. Is that a mini yurt? Yes, it is. It's not a mini yurt. It's a giant yurt. Yes, it is. Sunday Backyard Farmer. What's going on, my brother? Say, Brother Led, I know that he got to be working because you don't have no coat on. Because you know good and well. You ain't far from me. You know it's cold right now. And this stove got it on lock, bruh. This stove got it on lock. Uh, just imagine I had this Coleman oven sitting on top here it got to 300 degrees it was nothing in it was just sitting up here 300 degrees so imagine how hot it gotta be to cook this steak you can't just cook no you can't half ass cook no steak uh, can't you use the gray sink water to flush the toilet you might want to go and Look at this video again, because I explained all of that, my sister. Yes, that's what it does. That's exactly what it does. That's what I want to hear. It smells so doggone good in here. It smells so good in here. <laughs> oh, it smells so good in here. Ooh, this. This is what's up. This is how I want to do it. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I, I know. We, let's just make it an hour. Let's just make it an hour. I'm having a good time. Let's just make it an hour. And then I'm, I promise I'm going to stop. I promise. I promise. I'm going to change the title instead of 30 minute. I'm going to change the title, okay? So, I'm going to get some tea together. Let me get my tea. Y'all do me a favor. Watch my fire real quick. Don't let my fire go out. Watch my fire for me. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, I know what you meant by you bothered by my shoes because I'm wearing my shoes in the tent. Oh, I get it. I get you. 
I'm just now getting that. I wouldn't have them on if I wasn't playing. If I was staying out here, I wouldn't have them on. My little kitchen. I'm just going to set that right there. I'm going to scoot this pan over. We about done with that. Matter of fact, we done. And all I need to do is keep that warm. There we go. So that's just going to stay warm right there on the side, on the sideline. I get my tea boiling and then I can I can sit here and eat me something. Watch my fire for So that's it. <clears throat> All I need is a baked potato. If I would have, if I would have been thinking that I was going to be out here doing all this, I would have definitely, definitely went the whole nine yards. Because I really, I wanted some baked beans. I was going to bring out some, this is stuff I'm going to have tomorrow anyway. But I wanted to bring out baked beans. I want to just, I don't eat biscuits. <laughs> Um, but I really want to try this stove out like some, maybe I don't need toast. I could put that right on the stove, but some biscuits and just, you know, some already made biscuits to put in the, uh, oven just to ch check it out. Uh, do you have a fire extinguisher? Not playing. <laughs> Not playing no games. I told you I wasn't gonna forget. It. I forgot it last time. I ain't gonna forget it no more. Could you show us the fold-out table with your sleep cot tucked under? It's just a fold-up table. Uh, yeah. I do this because it saves space. It fits. Let me show you. It fits perfectly through those holes on my cot. It fits perfectly through those holes. So when I'm not using my cot, instead of folding it up, unfolding it, fold it every, every day when I'm out camping, all you got to do is just stick the tables over there. And now I can just use my table and my cot is there. When it's time to go to bed, Pick the table up, move the table out the way, and lay down. Because you ain't going to be doing nothing with the table no more for the rest of the night anyway. So, I can store stuff under there. I can store my sleeping bag. My sleeping bag and all that stuff is over there. I can just put it under there, let it sit, and wait. This is how you do it. Save space. And now, look, my whole family about to be in here. So, I'm just trying to save space and we're going to set it up and that's going to be, you know, kind of like the buffet and all that stuff. Okay. When are we getting back on the loose in February? Uh, let me see. Also can hook sled to e-bike in winter for gathering wood. If you, if you can pull that off, yes. 
Trevor, if that wasn't, that's not a crazy idea. I want to do something like that real bad. I could bake a cake in this doggone oven. I could probably pull it off. Uh, Homestead in the Hood said, how do you get the smell of your steak out of the tent? That the animals I don't you can't you can't you really shouldn't be cooking inside your tent but at the same time sometimes you ain't got no choice um here's the thing depending on where you are you shouldn't be cooking in your tent period you just shouldn't you shouldn't cook where you sleep uh I'm in my yard and I'm playing now as far as the smell goes no matter what happens, just say it's raining. Let's just say it's a snowstorm or it's been raining for a week. You on a camping trip, it's been raining every day, right? What are you going to do? Not going to eat? You can't go out in the rain and start a fire to cook your food. What are you going to do? Sometimes you have to. You have to. So... That's something to think about. So I ain't worried. This this tent smells delicious. I ain't worried about the animals here. What do you think about inflatable furniture? I I don't think anything about it. I've never owned any. I'll be honest with you. I never even thought to own any. I got fold up chairs and inflatable stuff. You need something to inflate them, and then you got to worry about leaks. I just I'm. She's the inflatable. She like inflatable stuff. I don't. I ain't gonna lie to you. Say you're in your yard. Yes. I got land. So what you always see me in, I'm not in the woods. That's my that's my land. Say use lemon and vinegar spray bottle to get the smell off. Did you show the chimney cap yet? No. I don't want to lose no heat. It's cold outside. Okay. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the chimney cap. I made it. I made it because the price they want for the chimney cap. They want. I think it's 26 or 36 dollars. Shit. For a cat, I made it. I made I made the same damn thing for free. For free. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go out here and show you. Watch this. Now I'm gonna put my jacket on because it is cold out there. Now I'm gonna show y'all something in a minute. <clears throat> Just to be close to you, girl. Oh, won't say it one more time. Love, baby. Just to be close to you, girl. Oh, you see that, don't you? That's outside. That's in here. 20 feet away. If I leave this right here, it's going to be 70 something degrees. Just to be close to you, girl. One more time, going to tell you how much longer you're going to love me, baby, baby. Just to be close to you, girl. Just wait one more time. Now, this is for Sunday Backyard Farmer. Sunday Backyard Farmer sent me this light, snap-on light. Sunday, I keep these with me all the time, brother. Thank you a million times over. Thank you, brother. Thank you. This a bad boy, all of them. So, I'm going to take y'all with me so you can actually see the stove jack. I mean, the stove cap that I made. You don't go paying that. Now, that's ridiculous. Ha! 
high quality zippers too. I'm just doing this with one hand. High quality. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good out here. Okay. Okay. So y'all can see me, right? This is the tent at night. Wait, I got, I don't wanna. This is the best part. That's it at night, lit up. I'm gonna go all the way over here a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna sh show you what I did for the cap. Hold on. You see that? I took some hardware cloth. I took, all I did was take some hardware cloth and wrapped it up. It's, it just ro rolled it over and stuck it down in there, pinched it at the top. And you, can you, can you see, um, that's a, only a little pencil holder that you can get from the Goodwill all day long. I was going to put a soup can on the top so it'll stop rain from coming down. But I found that and I was like, at the Goodwill, I'm going to use that. But I used the hardware cloth to stop ambers from floating away and burning stuff up and burning my tent. Watch this. It's just hardware cloth, family. That's all it is. So, with that being said, I wanna thank Sunday Backyard Farmer again for looking out for a brother with the light. I use this all the time, man. I'm telling you, I keep this close to me. This is this ain't just my ED. This is my everyday in my pocket. Whether I'm going somewhere or bugging out or nothing, I'm, I got this with me at all times. Just to be close to you, girl, honey, I'm home. I got your biscuits ready, baby. Oh. Sure, stuff can't come get us. Hold on. Watch my fire for me. Watch my fire for me, y'all. Put my light back. Just to be close to you, girl. Thanks for looking out, y'all. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> so, I'm gonna answer some questions in a second. Let me get my tea popping. Oh, that's laser tea. That's hot as sin right there. That's what you call laser tea. You don't drink that. Just set that off to the side. Now I'll put that on the silicone mat. Okay. Oh, we, we done did an hour? I done made a promise, y'all. I was about to eat this steak on y'all, but I said, no, I said an hour. So any questions before I go and then we gonna go. That, I just want to be fair. 
how much are the stoves running? I got it down in the description box below. Happy birthday anniversary muffins would be nice. That ain't a bad idea, my sister. Uh, hey, Homestead Engineering. Terry Martin, can you get that tent in army green or black? No. Uh, when will you be back on? I don't know. I never know. What's the flashlight EDC? I'm not sure what you mean. Say, don't leave yet. <laughs> don't leave yet. Just tuning in. Uh, will you put the small light link up? Yes, I will. Uh, go over an hour and keep going, Led. I don't want to keep you all in here because I'm just about to sit down here and eat. Uh, should we bring wood in February? If so, how much? Look. I'm not going to say yes. Because there's a rule. You need to call and see if they'll let you bring outside wood in because that's illegal in certain places. But check out for that, okay? What fridge is that? That's down in the in the description box. That's the set power. <clears throat> My affiliate link is down there below. Trina's Journey say, give that chat room the website for February. I don't have it on me right this very second. I really don't. That's why I've been waiting. Um, it's at easily, like easily done, easily grown garden dot com slash products. Let me see. Amber Angels Unique Boutique. I check all hours of the night. Will you let us watch you? Est? We don't mind. I don't know what you mean. I, I, unless you meant watch me eat. <laughs> Every, you, you see it, Sunday. That was for you, bruh. Man, I keep it with me, man. It's either the red or the green. Thank you, uh, Jerry Hicks. Miss Hicks, because I, 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 I don't want to butcher your name. Say, hey, Led, I appreciate the backup on my banana tree. It will be... <laughs> Ah, heading to the RV. Love what you do with that. You oh, that's Mr. Hicks. My my pleasure, bro. Uh, do they sell wood at the camp? Yes, they do. Say, uh, I want to say, I want you to say, but I know you need stay. But I know you need to eat. I'm not necessarily. I'm really just doing this for fun. It's not gonna go to waste. But I'm really just doing this for fun. I'm testing out my gear. I want to see, can this cook a steak now? Cooking chicken and cooking little light fish, you know it can do that. Can this really, really cook? Can this fry something? Yes, it can. So y'all literally just saw me do that. And I just boiled me up some laser tea. Got me some laser tea going. Got me some... uh steak i wish i had a baked potato and some baked beans or something to go with it i didn't know it was gonna go this doggone well i do have some broccoli in there i got some broccoli but that i don't want to i don't want to keep y'all too long so uh laser tea is hot ass tea that'll burn your mouth off Audria, <laughs> Andrea, that's what my, my family call hot tea or hot coffee. Laser tea will remove your whole inside of your mouth. You should stay, pull it out, pull out the broccoli. What up, Lid? Comment on here. It's Saturday night. You want to sit? You know what? Dang on it. Let, let, well, let me get this pot going since y'all playing games with me. Y'all playing, so I'm going to go in here. Let me see. Do I need some more fire? I'm going to go and get this broccoli going then. Come on. It might be frozen, though. It ain't broccoli. It's cauliflower. 
That's how frozen this is. Hold on. Just to be close to you. Mm, put my tools back where they belong. Don't say about it. Need you, baby. This water is nice and warm. Been sitting down over by this heat. Hold on. You pour some of that out. I don't need that much. Okay, y'all get to see this. While I do this, you get to see this firsthand. Everybody worried about the sink. Now watch this. Hold on. I want to make sure you can see it all. The tube and everything. I got this on. I hope it ain't full. Okay. So this is all the water we need. That's going to go down. Something might be clogging it. Yep. What is that? A dime. <laughs> I can't get it. It's a diamond there, something. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's draining just slow. It's draining, it's just slow. Cause it's like a nickel or something in there. You hear it? Y'all saw how fast I did it last time. It's just slow. There it go. It is empty now. All right. Let's get over here. Since y'all want to stick around for this madness. Tell you what, Bo. My little travel size salt and pepper that they give you in some of these these uh, hotel rooms. Put the little lid back on. Hit him with a little pepper. I don't know why you bother. Kick that lid on. That'll be ready shortly. My fire. I told y'all to watch my fire. Watch. Y'all ain't watching my fire. Fire getting a little low. Y'all ain't watching my fire. All right. Let's let's, let's go on here. Re up. Let's re up.
We gonna go on here and cook a meal. Let that catch on, and we'll be good to go. That's what's up. And that's how you do it. You gotta stay on top of that fire. Uh, keep that fire hot. Man, it's so warm. Matter of fact, I'm tripping. Cause I'm, look, I'm sweating. Look, look at me. That's not lotion, family. Watch. That is sweat. Take this jacket off. God, it feel good in this month. Man, it feel good to be a gangster. Now, just so y'all see again, it's 46 degrees outside. And it's still 61 degrees in. It's hotter than, well, it might be 60 degrees, 20 feet away by the sink. That's where this is at. But right here, it's about, it's about 70, 80 degrees right here. I'm telling you, it's, I got to kind of kick my hat back a little bit. It's hot right here. Okay. All right, questions, questions, questions. Oh, man. This little heater ain't no joke. Uh, any questions while I was, because I ain't been paying attention. Any questions so far? How you doing, vegan in the garden? Good to see you. Yeah, you here on the live. I'm live. <laughs> uh, I would be by the stove. That's where I am right now. What's up, KY? Good to see you, man. Is the tent one piece? No. N Good question. What's up, Be Rich? Good to see you, brother. No, the tent... Uh, will hot water melt your sink drain too? No. Um. Don't go pouring no boiling. Why would you pour boiling water in your sink? They gonna go into your toilet. I can't. I can't tell you everything, my sister. Let, let we need to be a little more realistic than that now, okay? Why would you pour boiling water down? Even in your house, why would you pour boiling water down your sink? Hot enough to melt something. Uh, we got to be more slicker than that. Uh, let me see. Oh, is the tent one piece? I wanted to answer that. No, it's two pieces. The whole bathtub bottom of this zips off. It zips off and you can take it up. You can take the bottom away so this will be the ground exposing the ground and you can let these sides up and this will just be one big bell like a like an awning like a like a big awning at, at at the football game or something so it's two pieces but it got a heavy duty zipper all the way around it what am i cooking i'm cooking some brock uh cauliflower right now and I'm waiting on it do you worry about poisonous gases from the cooking equipment what poisonous gases can come from your cooking equipment which poisonous gases are you talking about the reason I'm doing all of this stuff for you so you can understand how this work does the poles come if you use it for an awning, does the poles come out? Nope, the poles stay. How heavy is the septic once it's full? Oh. Depend on what you ate. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. I don't know how to answer that. 
Only in the 401. What's going on? Only in the 401. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. Hey, Cali Homestead with Pooh Bear. See, I'm watching, but I'm not feeling good. Oh, you're going to be okay, baby. Uh, have you revealed to make of the tent yet? Yeah. Yep, I did that this morning. Uh, these questions be killing you. Killing you? The, okay, I'm going to tell you this. When I get certain kind of questions, it let me know my work ain't over. When I get certain questions, it I swear, it lets me know. Don't, don't give up. Just keep on showing people. Some people don't like it. Some people want me to do other stuff. Just keep on doing what I feel like I need to be doing. Because there's people out there that's going to end up hurting themselves. Or putting themselves in a bad situation. Because they don't, they don't know. They just don't know. Was my question bad uh, about the, the poop? The weight of the poop bucket? Was your question bad? I, I don't know, Amber. My friend, my sister, I don't know. I can't say it's bad if you if you really don't know. And if you really want to know the weight of the poop in the bucket, I don't, I don't, I can't even answer that question. I can't even begin, sis. I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, in other words, what's the capacity of it? The, the description is in the link below. You can go straight to that and listen to whatever the manufacturers say the capacity of it is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to fill it up. I wouldn't even try to fill it up. Okay. If it says it's a five gallon capacity, I would stop at about halfway. It's doo doo, baby. It's doo doo. You know what I'm saying? This this is something that's a whole nother ball game. That's a whole nother realm we talking about. I Whatever the manufacturer specs is, just say, do half of that. Don't try to fill up your toilet. Just don't. You're going to find yourself knee deep in the funk. <laughs> You're going to find yourself baptized in the funk. Don't do it. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. Keep it light. Eat, eat salads. Eat salads, okay? I don't know another way to answer cer certain questions. I'll be trying my my best. Uh, should be, okay. I love the hot tent camping, wood stove, solar generator lighting, and my uh, fridge, freezer, cooler is living outdoors in luxury. There you go. There you go. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome so much, uh, Michelle. Thank you. Yeah, so functified. Eh? But you know something? I promise you, this is what it's about. If you don't get out here and try it, me telling you don't mean nothing. Me telling you ain't going to do nothing. You literally got to do some of this stuff. Get out of your freaking house. I swear. I say it so much. Get out of your house get out of your house how do you stay warm when you are sleeping
I'm going to, okay. Instead of me answering that question, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it to, to everybody to help each other. We're helping each other. If you're in a camp, because there's some people that just don't know. If you're in a tent, and this setup that you've seen me with right now, how would you, how would everybody can answer this the best way you know how? Not just seriousness. How would you keep warm when it's time to go to bed? How would you keep warm? Everybody, everybody. This way we can all teach each other because some people just don't know. How would you keep warm? When it's time to go to sleep, lights out, how would you go to how would you get your rest? Everybody. I it's, it's almost 700 people in here. Give me 700 answers. How you can you can name them off as many as you want, riddle them off. How many ways would you try to stay warm while you sleep so people can uh, can know there's a billion different ways. I see blankets, layer up your clothing, wear socks to bed, get off the ground, body heat, that's a good one. Uh, stay warm, put your pajamas on, huddle together, wear a hat, um, a real good sleeping bag, wool socks, okay, good sleeping bags. You gonna put a shower in a tent? No, I'ma just wash up in that sink. Um, buddy heater, sleeping bag, put a blanket inside your sleeping bag. I will stay up all night when it's the coldest part of the day and sleep during the day. Okay. Make sure your heater is full for the night. So the fire stay lit. Keep that fire going. Keep your fire hot. Keep your wood close by. Have you enough wood to last you throughout the house. Um, hot water bottle. That'll work. Heated water bottle. That'll work. Put the wood stove. Uh, put the wood in the stove right before bed. Yes. Make a partition. That's a good one with the blanket to keep you warm around the heat. You know what? Here's one that ain't nobody saying. Get closer to this heater. <laughs> if if it's if you get too cold, just ain't nothing wrong. Look, I fall back to sleep right here, just like this. Put a blanket over me and fall asleep by the fire. Cause you know something, solar heater blanket, electric blanket, yes. This new generation don't, they don't know what it was like. And a lot of Southerners really don't know either. When it got cold, we had fireplaces. We put that wood in the fireplace and the whole family sat around the fireplace, told stories, you know, that fire go out, my daddy would go out there, get another log, come put it back on the fireplace, keep the house warm. Drink tea, hot liquids, yes. This is what we did. Sat around the heater. Sat around the fireplace. Told stories. Told each other about your day. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have laptops. We didn't have computers. We had each other's conversation. The only way we communicated was to one another. So we sat around and told each other what happened to you today. What, how was your grades doing? Dad is having trouble at work. Mom called the plumber today. The pipes bust. Da, 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 da. We knew everything about one another. And the only time I didn't know something, that's grown folks business. And my mom and my dad or all the grown folks in the house tell us to go on away. Other than that, we knew about what's going on in this house. These days and times, don't know, don't nobody, uh, uh, don't nobody know each other. You'll live in the same house. You don't even know each other because everybody is in one separate part of the house somewhere on a tablet or something or a phone or texting or something. 
But this is how we do. We sit around the fire and we talk. Say that tent is bigger than I thought. I'm telling you, it's huge. It's huge. Now, this is where I am by the fire. That's the sink way back there. So, this is this is how we do. Uh oh. Let me see. Let me check my. I might have put too much too much water on it. Oh, it's, it's rolling. It's taking time because it was frozen. I'll be ready in a minute. That'll be ready in a minute. Gotta get that fire roaring up in here. So this is this is how this works. Yeah, where you had to bed. So this is it. Everyone should own a tent, so if you end up helping someone, tell them there's a tent they can rent. Not not that they can rent, but just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. This, this is it, family. I don't even feel like going in the house. <clears throat> What's the temperature now? Now my heat, my heat did drop. I can feel it. I can feel the temperature drop because my fire starts slowing down. But we we're at 59, but it's 45 degrees outside. That's that's pretty good. My fire calmed down. But it's 45 degrees outside, and it's 59 degrees in here. So out of all your tent, which is your favorite? This one. That was easy to answer. I ain't lying. That was easy to answer. I didn't even have to think on that or try to word it right. This one. Because it's so much room. Um, My pop-up tent was dope. My pop-up tent, listen, that gazelle ain't no joke. Let's keep it real. Hmm. This is just thicker. I don't feel no wind. I don't feel anything in here. And I can hook up my wood stove instead of starting my buddy heater burning propane. If you got the luxury, look, look, look at me. Come on down here. If you got the luxury to burn freaking wood over using propane, butane, all those electric electricity, unless you got a solar power generator that you can always rejuvenate. If you got the luxury to burn wood that's all around you, people throw this away. People pay other people to come and get this you see what i'm saying if you was slick with it you could actually somebody would pay you to come pick up their wood you chop it up use some of the wood for yourself sell the rest of the wood now i got a neighbor i got a neighbor i think he's retired now or something something ain't right but 
ever since I moved in this house, there's a neighbor not too far from me. You know what he did? All he did was go and collect wood from all around the city, bring it to his house, take it in his backyard. He got he had an industrial wood splitter, split it all up. And sell it. Think about that. What size stove pipe is that? It's 2.36. 2.36. So it's it's like it's almost like two and a quarter. Say long term camping with the Vivor. Yes, I am, Jones. Yes. Uh buy a heat powered stove. Dolphin. I, I got one on the way. I've said that like a billion times, right? Let me see. Art Wallace. Um, are you going to leave the tent up? This tent is supposed to rain in like two or three days. I'm going to leave this tent up until it stops raining. And once it stops raining, it's going to be sunny for about three days. I'm going to let it dry off. And then I'm going to pack it back up. But I'm going to be in here that whole time. So, yes. Yes. I'm going to leave it up. I'm going to leave it up for at least at least a week starting today. Even though it was up yesterday, I took it back down and I moved it and I put it back up. How often have had to load the stove with wood so far time-wise? It ain't about... It's hard to explain unless you do this yourself. If Listen, you don't got to have a wood stove. Get a fire pit. Just, just go get a bucket and put wood in it and burn it. Go get a barbecue grill and you'll understand. It's how hot do you want your stove to be? Right? It's how hot do you want your stove to be? How hot do you want your room to be? If I jam this with wood and keep it burning hot, number one, it's, it's going to get way too hot in here. You got to finesse it. You got all wood ain't the same. All temperatures ain't the same. It's not a how much do you need. There is no measurement. It's... You have to finesse it. Like right now, look. Let me, let me, let me, I'm gonna keep it real with you because I want you to understand. I'm gonna get on this floor with you. That's how dedicated I'm about to be. I'm not kidding. You gotta finesse it. Let me come on in here. This ain't no measuring. You don't measure this. You, you got to feel this. You got to know, like, okay, what is my flames doing right now, right? I got my, my my vent open. I got my uh, dampener all the way at 100% open. What am I doing? Do I want to stoke that? What am I doing right now? Am I just trying to heat up? Am I trying to cook? You got to know. So I'm going to even open this for you. Let me get, let me get my light because I, I want you to see this. Okay. You got to play with this. There's no rule, there's no rule rules to this game. You got to just play with it. Right? It's like love, man. It's like children. When it comes to fire, that's why it's so close to life, man. Fire is life. It's you there is no real rules. You gotta you gotta do it and play with that thing and, and see what it's about to do. Back it up a little bit. You know, look, watch this, watch this. Look how much ashes I got down there. Look how much stuff I got down there, right? I ain't getting no airflow. So back that up a little bit. Put that log back in that boy. That didn't catch on good off them coals, right? Play with it. You got to finesse it. You got to finesse that thing. Ain't no, ain't no how much in the measurements. No, you got to get in there. You got to play around with it a little bit. 
It's like your love life. Ain't no, she ain't. All women ain't alike. This woman don't like diamonds. Maybe she like plants. You know? Maybe, hey, you gotta, you gotta watch it. You can't just say, how often do you have to put the wood in, right? See that? Stoking the fire. It's like a woman, man. You, you just can't say all women like chocolates and flowers. Because all women don't. You know, all babies need to be changed this way, eat this type of formula, and use these type of diapers. Fire is the same way. You got to watch that fire. You got to be in it. You got to pay attention to it. You got, look, it's talking back to me. The fire talks back to you just like a woman, just like a child to start crying or a woman to start pouting. They ain't happy. You got to get in there and see what's going to make them happy. Most people, just like women, just like children, you know what they need? They need to be fed. Give them a little something to eat. Give them a little something to eat. And if that don't do it, you're going to have to take something out. Move a few things around. Make it, you know what I'm saying? You got to fidget with it. It ain't no set rules on living outside. It ain't no set rules on camp. Ain't no set rules on none of this. You have to put in the work and start finding out. Look, for instance, everybody goes to college. Everybody goes to college, right? Everybody goes to college and think they're going to be successful. They feel that if you go to college, you are going to be successful. You done paid your one or two hundred thousand dollars in tuition, yada, yada, yada. You done put in all these years and guess what? You get out and you find out there is no jobs for what you went to school for. You ain't you 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 went in with a set mindset. You didn't watch the market. You didn't watch around, you know. Do they even need welders anymore? Do they need mechanics anymore? Do they need... No, uh, some of this stuff... You, the computer industry, that's where it's going. You got to pay attention to that. There's no set rules. Like, oh, and people was disgruntled now because they're sitting there saying, oh, I went to college for eight years to do this job and there ain't no job. What am I supposed to do? Now you're disgruntled and you want to go in places and, 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 and make people disappear. You ain't pay attention. This ain't no different than life. Your fire. This is this is one of the backbones of humanity right here. Huh? Fire. Fire. We use it for protection. We use it to heat our homes. We use it to cook. We use fire for everything in all forms of it. It's no different in life. You get in here and you Fiddle, fiddle around with that fire figure out what's going on this is no different this is what i'm telling you right now fumbling with this fire i just gave you life lessons right there your marriage your children you just don't sit there and let it burn like usher you got to get in there and think what the hell is going on it should be hotter than this it should be it, i should see flames my my water should be boiling no different. You don't let your kid just sit up in a damn bedroom and, and fumbling around on the computer. He might be up there building a damn bomb. You don't know. You got to go up there and open the door sometimes, kick the door in for no reason and throw a roll of tissue paper in the room for no reason. Go in there. My son will tell you I go in there, I kick the trash can over. What'd you do that for? What, what you, you, who you asking? You got to see what's going on. I'm just in here making sure my boy ain't building no damn bombs. Right? Or plotting to take over one of these malls. If you just what you do. You got to get in there and get put the work in as a father. This fire taught me how to be a father. You go in there, don't just let it sit. It's gonna go out. And all hell gonna break loose if that fire go out. Right? You're gonna be cold, you're gonna be hungry, it's gonna be bad. You're going to get sick and you might end up dying if you don't got that fire. If you would have kept your ass here and got the poking in there, messing around, seeing what's going on. Hey, I need more wood. I need less wood. That's how you do your children. That's how you do your wife and your husband. What's going on with you? If you too scared to ask your wife or your husband what's wrong with them, you, I'm telling you right now, I ain't, no, I ain't no guru, but I'm telling you right now, universally, that's wrong. You need to voice your... What the hell is wrong with you? 
What's wrong with you? What you, you coming in here looking all stupid for? What I do? You need to ask some questions. And the other person need to answer. Frankly. <laughs> this is how this works. Your life is that fire. Once you know how to mess around and control that fire, ain't no knobs here. Ain't no gas knobs. Ain't no electric knobs. You the knob. See, it ain't that simple. You the knob. You get out there and you figure out. You play with that fire. I'm telling you, I promise to you, go get you a little baby Weber grill and just put wood in that some bitch for a whole day. Cook wood. like and Use it like a fire pit. Y'all saw me using my little baby Weber grill like a fire pit all day the other day, right? I didn't even cook nothing on that sucker. Play with the damn fire and watch. Don't leave it. Sit there. And it's going to do some strange stuff. You know what I've seen one time? I was sitting out here with my fire pit and I seen a blue flame. In the middle of that wood, up under there, I had like, it was like a little arch of wood. A blue flame looked like a little dancing lady dance from one side of that thing to the other. And once it reached the other log, it came back. I watched that blue flame dance back and forth. I just heard a gunshot. I watched that blue flame dance back and forth for about 10, 15 minutes. About 10 or 15 minutes. And I would have never been able to tell you that if I wasn't just sitting there mesmerized by the fire and stoking it and playing with it and making sure it's up and going. So, and whoever just asked me that, no, I ain't talking about the blue flame in the club. I wasn't at the blue flame. I wasn't at the blue flame. <laughs> I saw a blue flame dancing. Somebody probably think Larry was probably sipping on some of that damn yak in the blue flame, mesmerized, thinking he in front of the fire pit. No, I wasn't at the blue flame. I was at the fire pit, not not the other strip club called the fire pit i was actually in my yard sitting around an actual fire pit watching an actual blue flame i i don't even know how to even explain that to you no better than that why do they name clubs like that that make me sound like a freak i was i went to the the, the fire pit and then i went to the blue flame seen a girl dancing in the, in the fire that sounds pretty bad if you if your head ain't right. Anyway, we've been on here for way too long. Uh, I used to live in Atlanta for, for what was it, five years. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I lived in Atlanta, Georgia for over five years. Whew. Uh, this is just some green tea that I just that I just poured. Y'all just saw me make it, and I didn't do a switcheroo with the cups. Just green tea. Check the cauliflower; it ain't bubbling. I'm gonna go on here, get out of here, y'all. I'm gonna sit here and eat this meal. But them gunshots got me a little little uh, worried. Y'all have a wonderful night, okay? First, first, let me let me taste this steak first. What kind of stove you got? Let's taste this steak and then I'm gonna get out of here. One question before you go. Come on, uh, Angela. Come on, Angela. I'm with you. Homestead in the hood said, can you add an elbow to uh, elbow to keep the rain out of the shoe of the top? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I, I was going to add an elbow, but I got the wrong size and I sent it back. 
Um, I'm waiting on that question. Hey, Beverly. Say, hey, Lid. Uh, that tin is awesome. Did you say it was canvas? 100% cotton canvas. Yes, it is. Uh, no, you don't get those. Don't burn none of those fake logs in these. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just burn wood. Don't be half stepping with that, them fake logs. You don't know what's in them. And uh I didn't use any tarps. I'm just I'm just testing out. Don't use them for it. Don't use do me a favor. Go look at every outdoorsman, whether they fishing, camping, hunting, hiking, whatever they're doing. Do as much research as you want. Every last one of them is gonna tell you, don't use them doggone fake logs. Don't use it. I'm going to let you figure that out for yourself. Where did you buy your stove? How much? It's in the description box below. And all the links is right there. You can, you can go right to it. Say there's gunshots and your wife inside by herself. My wife is not no punk. Uh, if somebody was in my house, the gunshots probably came from her. That's how we get out. Her name is Lady Led. Everybody, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to talk on something real quick. I'm going to talk on a couple of things real quick. Um, don't let my wife, little pretty face, fool you. She ain't no joke. I don't worry about my wife defending herself. I don't worry about my wife on no way, form, or fashion. Um. I'm a man, but I'm going to tell you something. I ain't no professional at this game, but I'm going to tell you something real quick. Number one, <clears throat> if your wife can't defend herself, you need to have a talk with her. Um, And I'm not joking. I'm serious. If she don't want to use a firearm, she don't want to use weapons, Make she has to take some kind of self-defense classes. She has to, period, because they snatching women out here all day. And it's not a game. It's not a joke. I ain't talking about you find her in the alley no more. They don't even care about that. They snatching women up and you will never see them again. That's because they putting them in these sex trays. She there ship her around the whole other side of the world. If your wife does not carry a firearm, if your girlfriend does not carry a firearm, and you're not there to protect them, your wife needs some kind of physical training and she needs some kind of self-protection training, period. There's no questions about it. If she does not want to do any of that, y'all need to sit down and have a real uh, marital conversation. That's all I'm saying. And I mean that from my heart. I mean that from my heart. Uh, here's, here, here's something else that I wanted to touch on yesterday. Uh, people kept saying, Led, you got, you got put out the house. Uh, you you got put out what, what um and I, I found it disrespectful and I'm gonna say this real quick and I mean it from the bottom of my heart uh I don't I don't get put out of anything I joke I laugh I kid I have a good time but I'm a man I'm the, I'm the king of my castle I don't play in that household that's my home. This is my family. And I know men is a little different these days. I get it. I, 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 I truly do. I get it. It's a, it's a different way of, of thinking. I'm going to have this. There you go. It's a different way of, of thinking these days. Okay. And I understand. I'm not knocking you for it. I'm just telling you. I'm so old school. I was great before I was 16. I'm old, old school. And with that being that way. I am the man of my home. Ain't nobody putting me out. You ain't going to see me on Tic Tac or one of these other little social media things crying and, and screaming and snotting and shit because some woman did you wrong. That ain't how that work. Number two, I'm going to say this. If me and my wife, we've been, we've been married for 30 years. 
We've been together for 35 years. And I'm going to tell you something. We ain't dating. This ain't no young little bullshit type stuff. I don't know why people get married and feel that they need to be up under each other's butt crack 24-7. And the first time one person don't want to be crammed up another person's butt crack, they ready, ready for a divorce. Got that all wrong. You a whole person. You got hobbies and you got things you like to do. You, Your spouse does not have to like every damn thing you do. Y'all don't have to follow each other constantly like y'all uh, stitched up at the hip. That ain't how real life, real marriage work. And if, if it's like that, there's something hidden and wrong in there somewhere. Because that's some bullshit. Listen, yo. I do things that she ain't really into. She do things I'm not really into. At the end of the day, literally at the end of the day, me and her sit down, have a nice conversation, talk, love each other, love on each other. We ain't got, you don't got to like everything I like. I don't got to like everything you like. And damn it, we don't have to be jammed up in each other's butt crack all day, all night. And... Here's the other thing. When one person leave off, right? When one person leave, the other person always trying to track them. Find them. Where you been? How you doing? You got trust issues. Your woman or your man being gone ain't your problem. You got trust issues that stem from something completely different. You ain't going to keep nobody from doing nothing. Period. If somebody feel like that's what they want to do in they in y'all life, in y'all relationship, man, get it out and open. What did I say? Communicate. Where you been? Why, why, why is it like this? After it's that, man, move on. Shit. I don't ever wish no bad or no harm on nobody's relationship. But I also wouldn't say keep getting punched in the eyeball for the sake of marriage either. Let's let's be realistic. Okay? Say so I, I I don't want to be the, a divorced wife. I don't want to be a divorced woman and be have that stereotype on me. Well, you're a battered wife right now. That suits you better than being a divorced wife? Shit. So, when I hear stuff like that, it throws me off because I know that's a like nice little little saying that these young young brothers talk about all the time. is It's not funny to us OGs at all. Y'all let y'all situations get overrun. I run I run my household. My wife, that's my partner. I love her. That's my queen. But I'm the king of my household. Period. I understand things these days are changing and stuff is going whatever way it want to each his own. But look how long those relationships last. That's all I'm saying. Them relationships, these these new age relationships don't make it four years. These new age relationships of everybody can do whatever the hell they want and everybody got, it don't even work for about a good four years. Because everybody is wondering, who's driving this ship? Who? Everybody driving it. Well, who turn is it? I don't know. Who turn is it supposed to be? Ain't no different. Ain't no different. It got to be a captain of the ship. Somebody got to steer this mug. Somebody got to give the orders at the very... Look, all the soldiers know what to do in, in, in war, okay? In war, even on your job. Even on your job, all the soldiers and all the people working on the line, they know their job. They don't need to know what to do every single day. They know how to do their job. They can do it with their eyes closed. But when it comes down to a last final decision of should we shut this machine off and retool it? Or should we run it for the rest of the day until the, company, until the factory closed and let them retool it while the company is closed? 
The captain needs to make that decision. The boss needs to make that decision. The manager needs to make that last final decision because the budget is on the line about this. It's no different in your household. Everybody got running their show. They know what they doing in their household. Everybody got it on lock. You know, you're supposed to be doing your bedroom, cleaning your, cleaning your clothes, washing dishes. Done. Everybody know their jobs. But when it come down to it, like, hey, 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 what we going to do about this roof is leaking? Should we get money out? I mean, should we get money out the savings? Or? What's our next move? That 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 line has been been crossed and ruined, and everybody nowadays is that, why you think stuff don't be working out for you. Everybody cannot be everybody can't be the captain of the damn ship. You got the captain, then you then you got the 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 first mate, and and that's just how it runs. I I I joke. I have a good time. You know that's me. That's my spirit. But I'm a, I'm a all, what 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 my man Alexander O'Neill say? I'm an all true man, yeah, babe. I'm a I'm a man, and and I'm gonna say this too, and then I'm gonna get off. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know why that's being demonized these days. I'm a man. That's being demonized. Just to be a good man, that's the, that's not popular anymore. You know? Well, I'm still that guy. And it is what it is. I'm 30 years deep. And I pray for every day of it. I'm 30 years deep. Just got to know, man, hey, 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 man, you know? We got to have a talk or y'all got to have talks. If you don't sit down and talk, I don't like everything she got to say. She don't like everything I got to say. She don't laugh at all these stupid jokes I tell. <laughs> she, she don't. So, you know, I'm just, it is what it is. But that fire, you go, you go light one of them fires and keep a fire going all day. In your Weber grill, barbecue grill, and then you come back and tell me how that worked out for you. Right when you think your fire is blazing, it burnt too fast. Just like your relationship. It burnt out too fast. You came in too hot. <laughs> you gotta know how to slow roll that wood. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. You know. So before I go. And I didn't want to go off into no rant. Before I go, I'm going to taste this steak. We're going to taste that. <clears throat> All right, man, that wind is kicking up out here something fierce. Look at this. Yeah. I'm warm as a, uh, a slice of toast up in this mug. All right. I'm an all true man. What you been doing, baby? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we what we working with. Mm. Now my stuff is getting hot. man 
man that'll go to work. He's an all true woman. I'm an all true man. You need an all true man. I'm a man that'll go to work. Oh, true man. Yeah. Yeah, babe. I don't got no big spoon, I don't think. You need an all true man. When you're doing it like this, ain't nothing got to be perfect. You have the same dishes you cook out of, less mess. Eat all that brush, that uh, cauliflower. You need an all true man. I'm a man that'll go to work. Give me an all true woman. Oh. All right. Let's see what this do. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with this. You need an all true. What is this called, y'all, when people be watching folks eat? Ooh, that's butter. Look, I don't even got to cut that thing. I don't even got to cut it. You see that? Watch this. You don't even got to cut that. I told you, marinate it first. Marinate it first, then freeze it. You don't got you don't need no knife. Come on, man. Come on now. Come on now. Let me get some. Well, I season that water. I ain't seasoning. I'm about to. I'm about to use uh, brother Sunday's light again. It got a magnet on the back, so y'all can see that. There we go. We gonna mukbang it, whatever you call it. Hit it with some pepper, a little hotel pepper. See if y'all can see that. You need an all true man. I'm a man that'll go to work. Give me an all true woman. There we go. That's it, right there. Look at this. I just want to show you this real quick. I, I need you to see this. You see that? That's how you make a steak. You marinate it first. You ain't got to do all that fancy cooking. You marinate it right. Season and marinate that boy. Who from the north? Woo! You talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? You taste something like that? Soak him in them juices. Look at that. See that? Get out of here. Huh? Get out of here. That's 
That's how you do it. We cooking. We eating. This the first meal. Look, look, look. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me show you this. I'm going to show you this up close, damn it. Because you don't understand the tenderness. You don't understand. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand the flaky. The tender. I'm not cutting nothing. I'm pulling that boy apart is what I'm doing. You see that? You see that? That's what I'm eating. That's butter, baby. Butter. Butter. Look at that. People, somebody would think that's roast beef. Y'all just saw me fry that in the pan. You would think that's roast beef. That is not fat. That's real meat dangling. Good night. Okay. Hit that cauliflower. Uh, let that cauliflower sit in that juice. I ain't even need no salt. I right, let that cauliflower sop up some of that. I throw the knife on the floor. We don't even need the knife. We don't even need the knife. What for? Put both of them boys on there like that. But uh, okay. Sorry. Woo. All right. So that's it, y'all. I'm gonna finish eating a little bit of this. You when when it's that good, I, I promise you. When it's that good, you throw it, okay. When the steak is butter, throw the throw the knife on the floor. Look here. When the steak is butter, you throw the knife on the floor. Get rid of the knife. When the steak is butter, you throw the knife on the floor. You show your appreciation. You eat that. Get that away from me, for for. Eat all that. That's what that's for. Get that away from me. Get that away from me before I eat that all. You 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 throw your utensils back on the plate. When you throw your utensils back on the plate, that means get it away from me before I eat some. Before I eat it all. Get it, somebody take this away from me. But that butter, that steak, throw that knife on the floor. Try not to hit nobody. Throw that knife on the floor. All right. I'm gonna let y'all go on that note. Everybody have a wonderful night. Live Farmer 73. Ooh. I love you and I'm out. Good night. Mm, mm, mm. Now I need a nice red wine. So this is it, y'all. We actually cooked together for the first time on the wood stove. In the tent, in the monster tent, this is Moon Base Alpha. This is the control center. I'm sitting down having lunch with Led. Everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful night. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, the toilet, the any questions, the sink, the wood stove, anything, put it in the comments below. I'm going to answer it immediately all right everybody have a wonderful night live from 73 i love you and i'm out wait a minute
Let me wait for that number to change. Waiting for that number to change. I'm going to sit here to that number change. That number ugly. Somebody either come in or somebody leave. One or the other. Change that number. There it is. All right. Everybody have a wonderful night. Live on Thursday. I love you. <laughs>